what porn stars for me Daniel said about Trump in interview before she was paid $130,000 under a pseudonym and denied an affair. A pornographic actress who says she slept with Donald Trump shortly after the birth of his youngest son told a magazine reporter that she would be able to identify his genitals. I can't definitely describe his junk perfectly. If I ever have to, Mr. Me Daniels told In Touch Weekly in an interview published this week. Daniels, whose given name is Stephanie Clifford, has more than 150 film credits to her name including starring roles in Good Will Humping and Operation Desert Stormy. She talked about a 2006 sexual encounter with the future president in a hotel room at the Harris Casino in Lake Tahoe following a celebrity charity golf tournament. Trump, she said took the opportunity to summon her to the sheets after she used his suite's bathroom. The sex was nothing crazy, Daniels recalled. He wasn't like, chain me to the bed or anything. It was one position. She said Trump definitely seemed smitten after their rump. He was like, I wanna see you again, when can I see you again? Daniels, now 39, told in touch that Trump, then the reality TV star lured her into conversations and sex with a promise that he would get her a role on his show, The Apprentice. I didn't have any unrealistic expectations of actually being on the show. So now I wondered if the whole thing was just a f asterisk 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 thing like, she said, to get her into bed. And I guess it worked. Daniel said that Trump deflected questions about his wife, the future first lady, despite the fact that she was at home with an infant son while he was making publicity appearances. The porn star now has a baby of her own. At the time, I didn't think that much about it, she explained. But now that I have a baby that's the same age that his was at the time, I'm like, wow, what a d asterisk asterisk k. When she emerged from the bathroom, he was sitting on the bed and he was like, come here she recalled. And I was like, Doug, here we go and we started kissing. I actually don't even know why I did it but I do remember while we were having sex, I was like, please don't try to pay me. And then I remember thinking, but I bet if he did, it would be a lot. In Touch released a full transcript of its interview with Daniels, who was allegedly paid $130,000 to keep silent about her fling with Trump just before he entered the presidential race in 2015. On Thursday the liberal magazine Mother Jones published a 2009 email between two political operatives who were discussing Daniel's alleged admission to one consultant that Trump had her spank him with the Forbes magazine. At the time, she was considering running for a U.S. Senate in Louisiana and Trump's name came up as a potential donor for her campaign. Daniels has previously denied that she engaged in any type of sexual relationship with Trump in a statement released by the president's longtime personal lawyer Michael Cohen. Trump has also denied having an affair with her. But no one has denied that a hush money payment was made. A political consultant told Mother Jones that he wrote an email to Andrea Dube, a Democratic political consultant based in New Orleans, informing Dube that Trump was a contact in Daniel's phone, and therefore a potential source of campaign contributions. Dube, who confirmed she did exchange the emails in question wrote back, Donald Trump, in her cell phone. Yeah, the other, unnamed, consultant replied in the email chain. She says one time he made her sit with him for three hours watching Shark Week. Another time he had her spank him with the Forbes magazine. The anonymous consultant told Mother Jones that Daniels told him the magazine she used had Trump on the cover. Trump was featured on the cover of a fall 2006 issue of Forbes, pictured with two of his children. Donald Jr. and Ivanka. This latest detail emerged after In Touch on Wednesday released a previously unpublished 2011 interview with Daniels in which she described her sexual encounters with Trump, which allegedly took place in 2006. Daniels took and passed a polygraph test in 2011 as she talked about her textbook generic sexual relations with a married Trump more than a decade ago, In Touch claimed. We had really good banter. He told me once that I want someone to be reckoned with beautiful and smart just like his daughter. Daniel rolled the tabloid in a story that In Touch released this week, on the heels of other news reports about the president and the adult entertainer. Her alleged affair with the future president began at the American Century Celebrity Golf Tournament at the Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course in Statline, Nevada, in July 2006.
The adult film star described the initial sexual encounter with the billionaire businessman as nothing crazy and admitted to the tabloid that the two didn't use protection. It was what position, what you would expect someone his age to do, Daniel said. Just before the In Touch story came out, the reporter for Slate detailed conversations he had with Daniels in 2016, during a time which he characterizes as her uncertainty over whether Trump would pay her the promised hush money. Jacob Weisberg, writing for the online publication Tuesday, explained that he had pursued the story between August and October of 2016, shortly before the presidential election, with Daniels personally confirming the rumor and setting Weisberg up with associates who corroborated Daniels' account as well. She told the journalist that her lawyer Keith Davidson, along with Trump lawyer Cohen, had worked out a six-figure fee, though the presidential candidate was dragging his feet on the final details, which is seemingly why she confirmed the relationship to a reporter, using it as an insurance policy. Daniels also told Weisberg that she wanted money for her story, though Slate doesn't pay its sources. The journalist said he tried convincing her to come forward anyway, but then she stopped talking to him. And then, about a week before the election, Daniel stopped responding to calls and text messages, Weisberg wrote. A friend of hers told me Daniels had said she'd taken the money from Trump after all. Weisberg never wrote what he knew from Daniels until Thursday. I considered publishing the story without her cooperation, he said. After all, she had never said anything was off the record. But if I did so, she would presumably disavow what she had told me and the only people I had corroborating her story were sources Daniels herself had pointed me to. For the most important aspect of the story, the contract for her silence, I also lacked independent corroboration, the Slate writer said. Weisberg said Daniel sent him the contract that referred to her as Peggy Peterson and to Trump as David Dennison. Two other pseudonyms included the names David DeLucia and Artsy I, the Slate reporter wrote. The Wall Street Journal reported on Thursday that Cohen set up a Delaware LLZ in September 2016, called Resolutions Consultants, LLZ, a name that is rather similar to RCI, the fourth sued Nim Weisberg cites in his piece for Slate. That LLZ was dissolved in October 2016, when Cohen created another company called Essential Consultants, LLZ, for the purposes of transferring a $130,000 payment to Daniels, the Wall Street Journal reported. CNN also reported that Fox News had on the record statements from individuals confirming a relationship between Daniels and Trump, leading up to the 2016 election, but that editors killed it.